and welcome to the first of my history specials where I visit a particular location or building and take a look at some of its history. In this video I'm at the Church of St John the Evangelist in Bush End and I'll take a look at this, the connection between this church and the Bank of England. The church is situated in the west of Essex. The village of uh, Hatfield Heath is just to the south, and the village of Takeley and Stansted Airport are to the north. The church stands next to the uh, Hatfield Forest, which is one of the, the forests used by uh, William the Conqueror. And this part of the countryside is unspoilt in over a thousand years. The church was completed in 1859, uh, and built in the Gothic style, which was uh, popular at the time. The church was built on the edge of the, uh, the Hallingbury estate, which was owned by the Hublon family. They were Huguenot refugees that came to England from, uh, from Lille, which was then part of um, uh, Holland is now part of Belgium. They came here in the year 1560 to avoid religious persecution. They developed into wealthy merchants and financiers and one of the uh, most well-known members of the family was a man called Sir John Hublon. John was born on the uh, 13th of March, 1632, and became a wealthy financier. In 1694, he became the first governor of the Bank of England. He held that post for three years until 1697. He owned a large house in central London, which was located on what is now Threadneedle Street, the actual location of which is now taken up by the Bank of England. The bank celebrated its uh, 300th anniversary in 1994 and they honoured Sir John by putting his face on the reverse side of the £50 note. That, re that note remained in circulation until it was withdrawn as legal tender in April 2016. Sir John died on the uh, 10th of January 1712. Thank you for watching this little history special. Many more will come from different locations around the country and from other places in Europe and around the world in due course. Please hit that subscribe button and like my channel, leave a comment so that I know you've seen this video. And we'll see you next time.